Hello guys, KD here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this very small buck converter with a LM2596 IC. So let's start the video. So guys, here's the PC of the project. As you can see, the size is around 2 inches by 2 inches. And this time, I have used glass epoxy PCB, which is better than normal PCB. So now let's mount the components. So guys, I have mounted the components. So now let's solder them. So guys, now you need a adjustable LM2596 IC and a 47 micro henry inductor and the dimension of this inductor are in the video description so solder them also so guys our circuit is now ready as you can see the input comes in from here the right one is ground the left one is positive and after that this and this are the filtering capacitor and this is a short key diode so as you can see and here's the 47 micro entry inductor and make sure to use a low ESR capacitor at the output like I have used 680 microfarad 35 volt capacitor from Nichicon and I have also attached a heat sink to the IC so now let's test the circuit so I have connected a 18 volt power source to it so now let's power it on as you can see the output voltage minimum output voltage is 1.2 volts so now let's increase the output voltage as you can see the voltage is rising so the maximum output voltage This is 17.4 volts and the input voltage is 18 volts so there's a loss of 0.5 volts so now let's connect it with a load so guys I have connected my variable electronic load with it the link for this video is in the description so now let's power it on so as you can see the output voltage is 15 volts so now let's check the current So as you can see at 1 amps the output voltage drops only 0.15 volts so now let's increase it to 3 amps so now it's 3 amps and the output voltage is 14.6 volts so the uh, voltage drop is 0.4 volts and the heatsink is just warm nothing very hot so now let's decrease the output voltage to 12 volts so the output voltage is 12 volt so now let's increase the current So at 3 amps, the voltage drop is around 0.4 volts as you can see. So now let's do the efficiency test. So guys, this is my setup. This meter will show the input current. 
and this will show the output current and this will show the output voltage so now let's power it on so the no load current is around 0 0.03 amps so now let's set the output voltage to 12 volts so it's 12 volts so now let's increase the current to 3 amps So the efficiency is shown in the screen. So guys, this was my today's video. So if you like this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you have any question regarding the circuit, then you can ask me in the comments. So thanks for watching.